Hey, this is JR, with Expat in Saigon. I just got home. I walked over to the uh, Balshan condominium project over there and took a look around. Thought I'd uh, share some photos with you and uh, let you see what they're doing over there. I think the first topic today is visas. Ray is still legal. Uh, she's got her visa until the end of the month and uh, then we have to start worrying about her because we can't afford to send her to Philippines right now. The airfares are ridiculous and the 10-day uh, uh, quarantine's real costly too. Uh, also, all week, the uh, Philippine consulate here in, in uh, Ho Chi Minh City has been closed. So we had a real problem with that. Uh, she can't get over and get the information she needs. Well, my visa is about the same situation as before. Uh, it's up in the air. Uh, we're trying to get it processed. Uh, We've had a lot of uh, problems because of the COVID outbreak here in Ho Chi Minh City. It took a week to get a little police document signed uh, that we should have just been able to take over there and sign it. The guys really didn't even want to come out of their office. So uh, we finally got it done and uh, got the paperwork back over to the uh, lawyers and agencies and stuff. So we're, we're working on that. The Balson residences are really coming along good. They've uh, finished out uh, most of the exterior of the building. Now they're putting in the curbs and sidewalks and redoing the main street. Uh, if you'll notice in one of the pictures there, one of the workers has got a hammock set up on his uh, road machinery. It's kind of cool. Rhea introduced me to a really cool concept. It's called a ballot buying box. I didn't know what it was, but what it is is a, a big shipping container uh, that you can ship to the Philippines from anywhere. If you're a Filipino, it's free of duty and customs fees and things like that. If you're just a person that wants to send some gifts to the Philippines or uh, ship some things to the Philippines, you might be subject to duty and taxes and things like that. I don't know exactly all the details on that, but it's really cheap way to send stuff. If you try to send something by air, it costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars. If you uh, ship it by ballot buying box, it takes a long time because it goes by ocean freight, but uh, the cost is just minimal. You can get a ballot buying box sent for a hundred bucks. There's no weight limit on them or anything. So they're really pretty cool. Rhea's, Rhea's packing up all the things that we can send back to her hometown now. So uh, we'll have a couple of ballot buying boxes headed out. It's all stuff you're not gonna use right away. So uh, you have time to wait. It's really a cool thing. I had never heard of it before. And um, honestly, uh, I can understand why they have it with all the Philippine OFWs all over the world. Uh, the ballot buying box seems like a real uh, logical way to get things done. Well, as you can see, it's quiet here in Ho Chi Minh City. I've never seen the traffic like this before. This is uh, the lightest I've ever seen it. This is Sunday here. And on a Sunday, usually everything's bustling. But now, nothing's bustling. It's really quiet. Uh, we're still in kind of a lockdown and social distancing thing. I think this is supposed to end at the end of this month if we don't have any more outbreaks. But we're having 50 to 75 people a day show up with COVID, so I don't think it's gonna be over anytime soon. I'm kind of worried about it. I'm really not sure how it's gonna affect air travel and things like that. I just uh, uh, know one thing for sure is that uh, the, the ticket prices and things right now are through the roof. Uh, nobody can afford them. Some of the flights are $2,000, $2,500, $3,000 for a one-way ticket. Uh, I know that um, I can't spend that kind of money. I'm a retired guy. So uh, we'll see what happens. I may wind up just being a prisoner here in Vietnam. Who knows? So anyway, I really wasn't going to make a long video today. I just wanted to kind of keep this short and let everybody know what's going on. If I have any real serious news or any uh, changes in things that uh, are significant, I'll sure uh, make a quick video and let you know what it is. Otherwise, we're just gonna live our life here. 
uh, doing takeout food, takeout coffee, um, not going to the supermarket unless it's an emergency. We've kind of stocked up so we don't need to go. We just don't go anywhere, we stay in. The um, area around us has got quite a few cases of COVID and uh, there's just no reason to be out in it. Well, this is JR, the Texpat in Saigon, saying thank you all for watching and let's all wish for the best. Hey, Ori. Ori. Oh, now you're gonna come and see me, huh? Oh my goodness, what a girl, what a girl, oh.